Welcome to the Gen Tech Survival Guide. If you happen to come across this guide conveniently placed on a table and had to kill a naked zombie in order to get to it, then congratulations, you have just found the Gen Tech Survival Guide VHS box set. If you survived long enough to reach this episode then, wow, you're tougher than I expected. But don't pat yourself on the back just yet, I'm pretty sure that your luck is about to run out. It's only a matter of time before you caught with your pants down and a zombie will bite you in the ass. If that happened to be the case then I'm afraid zombie bites are 100% fatal, so you might as well get naked, drop your gear where you stand and place this cassette tape on the top of the pile. Better luck next time. Oh, wait. Never mind. Trapping. The simplest trap a player can use is a mousetrap, which can be found in the world. The player can also use their trapping skill to create traps, if it's high enough and if they have learned the crafting recipes. Player-made traps include snare traps, stick traps and trap boxes. Creating a trap requires the player to have the necessary materials and or tools in your main inventory to make it. You will also need to learn the recipe for the trap from a skill magazine in order to know how to craft them. Once these prerequisites have been met, you can select the crafting option by either right-clicking the materials in your inventory or opening the crafting interface. The trap needs to have bait added to it to be effective, which determines what type of animals you will catch, if they can be caught with said trap. See the table shown for a list of what animals can be trapped, and which trap and the bait needed to trap the animal you are after. Baiting a trap removes minus 5 hunger from the chosen bait, so baiting a trap does not consume the entire food item. Only fresh or stale food can be used as bait. Traps can break or go off without trapping an animal inside, so check them often, every hour of in-game time. Traps are only effective in the wilderness, where there are no zombies or players around, traps will not catch anything with the player being within 75 tiles of them. Zombies are also attracted to traps with animals in them. A mouse trap is one of several traps used in trapping to catch a variety of wildlife. However, it is the only trap that cannot be crafted. Mouse traps can be found in kitchen counters or warehouse crates. The table shown is A the bait best used for a mouse trap. Cheese, being the best followed by peanut butter, apples, oranges and tomatoes. The best locations to place your mouse traps are Farms Trailer parks And urban settings there is a 30% chance of catching a mouse and a 25% chance of catching a rat in the locations previously listed. Snare trap. To craft a snare trap, the player must have picked either the park ranger occupation or hunter trait during character creation. Otherwise it will be learned after reaching trapping level one or reading the hunter magazine volume one. The snare trap does not require any skill levels to use it, you only need the skill to craft it. Therefore, once you obtain the skill book, and crafted the trap you can begin using it right away. There is a 30% chance of catching either a squirrel or a rabbit using the snare trap which also depends on the type of bait you use. Vegetables for rabbits, cereals, nuts and peanut butter for squirrels. These animals can be caught in deep forests with said bait. Stick traps To craft a stick trap, the player must have picked either the park ranger occupation or hunter trait during character creation. Otherwise, it will be available after reading the Hunter Magazine Volume 2. Stick traps can only catch birds. The best bait to use is bread, cereal and corn. Stick traps are best caught in farms, towns, vegetation and trailer parks. Always remember to bait the trap. Trap Crate To craft a trap crate, the player must read the Hunter Magazine Volume 2 or have picked the Park Ranger Occupation or Hunter trait during character creation. After crafting it, you can right-click on ground and use Place Trap option to place it. There is a 30% chance of catching a squirrel or rabbit using this trap. This percentage is additional to the percentage chance from the bait you use. Trap box. 
To craft a trap box, the player must have picked either the park ranger occupation or the hunter trait during character creation. Otherwise it will be learned after reaching trapping level 2 and carpentry level 1. Or reading the hunter magazine volume 3. Rabbits and squirrels are small animals that can usually be found in the forests. They can be found rarely in urban settings. Rabbits and squirrels are nocturnal creatures that are usually active between 1900 hours and 5 o'clock. Mice and rats can be caught at any time of the day. Butchering a rabbit will produce rabbit meat and butchering a squirrel will produce small animal meat. Meat is very important for your sustenance and energy so the trapping skill is very useful when you run out of food. And don't feel too bad about killing one of these little critters, just remember, you're no longer on top of the food chain. You're part of the savage cycle of life now called nature and the zombie apocalypse has put you there. Now isn't that a comforting thought? Embrace your primal instincts and get out there and hunt. But always remember, you too are the hunted. If you found this tutorial helpful then please give us a like and subscribe. We love making this content for you to enjoy and the support will help us make better episodes in the future. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now.